Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to run a Flask server from a Docker container. First of all, if you don't have Docker already, um, if you go to docker.com and then products, and they have some options here, so if you go to Docker Desktop, you can download it for Mac or Windows. And um, Just a word of warning, if you're downloading it for Windows, you need to have Windows Enterprise or Professional installed before you get started. So without further ado, I'll get into the code. So all I've got here is some test code to run later on. And um, this is just so I can copy and paste it inside our Docker container. Um, there are ways to mount uh, local folders from your um, host system, for example, Mac OS that I'm using at the moment into your docker container but i'll probably do that in another video for now we will have an instance of um, alpine which is a small linux distribution which is about four megabytes and we'll install python virtual environment in there so we can get the server up and running um, straight away so as you can see here i've just copied some html boilerplate from um, a website and i've changed it to Docker Flask Server, um, so there's just a div inside the body, and the title is also Docker Flask Server. And then within the Python file for Flask, this is our app. So I've imported Flask um, and render template from the Flask um, from the Flask package, and I have set up a index sort of root, and I'm just returning a template called home.html. So once we're inside the Docker container, we'll also create this templates folder with home HTML in it because the render template system within Flask will actually go looking for a templates folder and see if there's a file in there called home.html. So next what we're going to do is we are going to test that we have Docker installed okay by just running Docker. And as you can see, if you've installed Docker correctly, you should see all the commands coming up um, in your terminal. So I'm just going to clear this. The thing I'm going to do is a docker run, and I'm going to pass it the dash p command. Um, this is going to open up a port, so I'm going to select port 5500 on my Mac, and pick one that isn't likely to be used, and I'm going to map that to port 5000 inside the Docker container. So this pretty much just gives uh, gives us access from our host system into our guest system on the network. So I'm gonna run Alpine. So Docker is going to, first of all, have a look on my local machine to see if I have a Docker image called Alpine already installed. And if it doesn't, then it's going to pull Alpine from the Docker hub and download that to my system. So that has created a Docker image for us. If I do a Docker image ls, we should see we've got Alpine here. It's 4.41 megabytes at the moment. Now, again, I'm going to run this command, but this time, as before, I'm going to run it with the dash ti, or you can also do dash it flags. So this is saying to run it in an interactive terminal. So I will run that. And as you can see, we've got a different prompt here. So if I run an ls, this is the file system that is inside the Alpine um, machine running inside the Docker container. So I've just gone ahead and I've cleared the screen. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to run an apk add python and py virtual env. And this is going to install Python and virtual env on um, the Alpine machine, which is running on Docker at the moment. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just check where I am. I'm going to cd into the home folder and I'm going to create a, let's create a folder called Docker flask server and I'll see see the end of that next I'm going to create an app.py which I'm going to just copy from this pre-existing 
bit of code in here. I'll paste that in. I'm going to assume you guys know how to use Flask since this is just a tutorial on how to actually get it up and running on from a Docker container. So I'm going to do the same thing with the HTML. So for this, I need to make another folder called templates. I need to then cd into that and I'm going to create home.html. This needs to be called home.html um, in this case because this is what I've told my um, Python web server to look for with the render template function. So I'm just going to paste that in here and save that. Now what I need to do is I need to install a virtual environment. So I'm going to do virtual env and then venv inside here. So now that that's installed, the next thing that we want to do is we want to um, activate our virtual environment. So I'm going to do venv bin activate. As you can see from here, we've gone into our virtual environment. Just going to clear this, give us more space. So now what I can do is I can run a pip install and then flask. Clear that. And that's pretty much us ready to go. So as long as I'm in the right folder with app.py, I can run python app.py, hit enter. And as you can see here, it's serving flask app on 0000, 000 and port 5000. So what I should be able to do now is I should be able to go to Chrome or whatever browser you want on your host system and then we should be able to type HTTP 0, 0, 0, 0 and port 5500 and hit enter and there we have our Docker Flask server. So what we can say is happening now is that we've downloaded an Alpine image from Docker Hub We've then installed Python and virtual environment into that, and we've created some a basic Python um, Flask server in there. And because when we ran the container, we gave it the dash p flag, which um, sets up some port forwarding, we're actually able to get access to the server running inside the Docker container from our host machine. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, please check out my channel for other videos. Um, I'm trying to put up more tutorials for this kind of thing. So um, if I've helped anyone out, um, like and subscribe my video. Thanks for watching.